In this Pitta V tutorial I will show you how to create simple split screen video clips using three or four videos. I've assumed you have some knowledge of editing in Pitta V. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, well I've brought a couple of clips or four clips into uh, the media library. So I'm going to just drag this clip in and make sure it snaps up to the beginning. Make sure your marker is set to the beginning, this marker here. I'll just drag this out a bit so I get a better view. So if you select the track by left clicking on it, you need to come up to the clip box up here if it doesn't come up or it's not showing and make sure that it is actually selected by it'll go dark For some reason or other sometimes the pointer moves over so like I said with the clip section selected just open up transformation by left clicking on the little arrow Now I'm going to just place this clip or make this clip half the size and place it in the left hand side and to do that it's quite simple you need to be you need to know what half or whatever uh, size you're reducing um, your video by so typically this one here is 1920 so if I reduce it down to 960 hit return it will change it will literally half this size you can do whatever size you want but make sure that it's proportional so whatever size you create on the width the height must be the same proportion so in the height I'm just going to change this to 540 and that's made a clip that is a quarter of this monitor. And that's all I'm going to do in this instance. The only thing I would say is because you're bringing in um, quite a few videos you may not want all of the audio. Obviously you can kill the audio on everything when you render but if you wanted to keep one or two of the audio uh, tracks playing you have to adjust it here. So if you place your pointer over this strip here it say property volume and just hold down your left mouse button and drag the volume down and just hover your mouse over to make sure it says value zero it doesn't always do it straight away as you can see it's still got some volume there now it says value zero again this probably will move your marker so I'm going to go back to the beginning and that's your first video and you've also set up your audio I won't do the audio on all of them so I'm gonna bring in a nether video so let's bring in let's bring this one in now to bring another track in what you need to do is place your video so that it's just sort of halfway between nothing and the top track then it will flash up a blue line once you've done that release your mouse or your left hand mouse button drag this up to the beginning so it snaps at the beginning and for ease I'm going to just reduce the clip so that it's the same length obviously you should know this the blue line will snap show when it's snapped okay now I'm going to move this one to the right so nothing's showing here and that's the re the reason for that is I haven't actually got this track selected so left right is in the X axis line and because I've halved this if I type in if I just hold my left mouse button down and drag it over so that it highlights this zero if I type in 960 and hit return it will place the video over this side 
and that might be something you want to leave and place another video here the options are infinite so because I've moved this now to the right if I have this say to 960 and have this to 540 happy days so I've now got two clips at the top quarter of their size so I'm going to bring in another track or another video so again drag it into your video and just drag it so that you get a blue line show and again you may have to snap it up to the beginning but take this back I'm just moving the marker back to zero and I'll just drag this one down so that it matches the other tracks and again make sure this one's selected obviously set your audio up as well if you want to and this one if let's say if I wanted just three videos so I'll have these top two and this bottom one if you place your pointer in the middle and just sort of drag your clip down or to the right we could drag it up and bring it down so you've got a sort of view you're happy with don't worry about lining it up too much or you're interested in setting it up roughly so obviously this is left me with a gap here and to remedy this just in the X axis just type in zero and that'll give you a three screen split I'm going to make four screens now just so that you're a bit you know a little bit more or you're more confident in knowing what I've done so if you just re left click on reset obviously I need to bring these videos down now so I'm going to place this one to the right so I'll type in 960 and in Y540 yours may be different and have this to 960 and 540 as I said before this is on a 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio yours may be different or you may choose to do I don't know two thirds but these must correspond so that's that one do one more so I'm going to drag this track in and hopefully we'll get the yellow flash yep make sure that it's dragged to the start drag this over make sure you've selected it and because this one's going to the left I won't have to change the uh, position on X all I've got to do is change Y which is 540 then I'm going to half this and that's created a simple four screen video clip I'll do a few um, tutorials on more complicated um, split screens in Pivot V maybe in the next week or so but that's a very basic split screen video clip um, I shan't go into rendering like I said at the beginning I assume you've got some knowledge of it working in Pivot V so hopefully that's helped somebody thank you for watching cheers